Hey guys, what's up? Today, I'll be talking about the newest hero, Yin. I'll be sharing tips, builds, and skill guide. But before we begin, let me just get my free skin. No matter what. Easy. So first, let's do a quick summary of his skills. Passive grants him 20% more damage when there are no teammates nearby. Is Yin an introvert? His first skill adds movement speed for 3 seconds, and it also increases the damage of his next basic attack. Once it hits an enemy, he releases another punch forward that can hit multiple enemies in a straight line. The cooldown is reduced if the skill hits an enemy. His second skill dashes forward while leaving his golden rings behind. After one second, the rings will catch up to Yin and stun enemies in its path. If an enemy hero is hit, he gains 25% damage reduction which I think is quite OP. His ultimate pulls an enemy hero to his creepy basement where he turns into Lia. While in his basement, Lia gets extra defense stats and better skills. His first skill can smash an area up to 10 times while slowing the target and he becomes immune to CC effects during the casting animation. His second skill is the same as before but with improved features. There is a slight knockback upon hitting and the stun duration is longer. If Yin successfully kills an enemy before the ultimate is up, he will return to the battlefield in Lia's form and this will allow him to use the enhanced skills. Now that you know his skills, let's proceed to his build. Yin is more of a skill caster, so I don't recommend using attack speed items. Defense item is a must so that you can hold your ground when going 1 vs 1. Endless battle works well with his first skill because of the enhanced basic attack. For his talent, there are many possibilities. The assassin talent, high and dry, works well with his ultimate. Killing spree for higher sustain after getting a kill from his basement. Or you can use festival of blood for a more consistent and sustain. Now let's move on to tips. Prioritize first skill since it's his main damage source. When jungling, it's better to be alone to maximize his passive skill. Tell your team to check the bush instead. Upon entering his ultimate, don't rush with his first skill because they can easily escape with a dash. Wait for the right time to stun the enemy before using his first skill. If possible, wait for them to dash first since his ultimate can last for 8 seconds. The position of the enemy will be the same as when you enter the ultimate. This means if the enemy moves away from the ultimate, you can still catch them afterwards. His ultimate is an effective way to delay the retribution user of the other team. Do this if you're the side laner. He will recover 20% of his max HP after a successful kill in his basement. This means you have a better chance of surviving after a close fight. Entering and leaving his ultimate will reset his first and second skill cooldown. So it's always better to use up all his skills. You can clear the lane faster by lining up the minions and using his first skill. Same for the purple buff. Use his first skill where it can hit both jungle creeps. The enemies can fight back or move away during his ultimate. So always try to pick the enemy with no mobility like mages or support. Avoid enemies with multiple dash like 1-1 one -one because it's hard to catch them. So have you played Yin today? Is he good, bad, or just balanced? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.